Ohayo gozaimasu! Today we have an FPS guide for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 3. It is the most updated guide on how to boost your FPS, reduce lags and make the game overall smoother as of today. I'm not going to talk too much, I just want to get to the point here, but what I want to say is that if this guide doesn't help you out, it is probably time for an upgrade. What we'll do in this video is pretty much everything you can do in the game and on Windows itself to make it run better. There are really no other ways. This is going to work for Windows 10 slash 11, just so we're on the same page. And yeah, one more thing, make sure to comment your specs down below in case this guide doesn't help you out. And I'll try and tell you what is the problem i'll do my best to get it fixed up so now let's get right into it so right off the bat i want you guys to try this trick not many people show this but if you remember how to switch back to a custom resolution when it was a thing back then it is not a thing anymore but the resolution still works and the preset resolutions we have are not low enough for potato pcs obviously so what we want to do is lower our resolution even further if you keep the 3d resolution to 100 it won't make the game look so ugly so do not worry Worry about that it is completely playable trust me this trick will probably boost your fps the mostest if your game settings are on low so let's go ahead and go into the search bar type in percentage up data percentage we're gonna end up here on updata slash roaming afterwards you want to click on updata over here go to local we're going to find fortnite games so not epic games not epic games launcher just fortnite game over here saved config windows client and game user settings so make sure this is opened by notepad if you don't know how to do that click on change and more apps and you'll find the notepad here for sure you want to click there with your notepad and we want to scroll down until we see resolution size x equals your current resolution and y this is basically just the resolution what we want to do is we want to reduce it to 1024 by 7 68 make sure to do it on both and i promise you guys this is going to boost our fps by a lot so you want to click here on file and just press on save and that's pretty much it if you're not using discord you should skip this part however if you are listen closely my child so discord happens to be this awesome platform i love it you love it but when it comes to potato pcs it can be very demanding to have it in the background especially with an overlay now this might sound funny to people with a decent ram slash cpus but i've experienced this i went through this it was terrible discord was making my game run like shit honestly not just league of legends but every single game i've played unless they were older games that my pc would run without a problem so there are two ways we can fix this first way is by shutting down discord completely on our pc and pretty much either have it on the phone if you'd wish the voice chat or text or the second way we can optimize discord to require less resources from our pc while we play let's get onto the desktop and i'll show you how to do it okay so first things first what you want to do is just simply open discord next up what you want to do is go to the user settings is this cogwheel right here next to your username and your hashtag number we want to go ahead and click there after that we're going to scroll down until we see game overlay and activity settings what we want to do is click on game overlay and make sure enable in-game overlay is disabled the reason why i'm saying this is because this option is by default enabled and it will take a decent amount of fps trust me on that one after that you want to click on advanced over here and make sure the hardware acceleration is off as you can see here it says turns on the hardware acceleration which uses your gpu to make discord smoother turn this off if you're experiencing frame drops so turn it off please anyway that's all you can do about that once again if you're having fps issues with any game i'd suggest turning discord off completely and using it on your phone which will give you the best result and for all of you addicts out there that just cannot turn off discord maybe an important e-date or something there is a simple solution that will help out at least 50 percent alrighty so next up what we want to do is update our drivers and windows talking about drivers it is mainly the gpu drivers did i forget to mention that all of these tweaks or whatever you want to call them work both on windows 10 and windows 11 that's right if any of you are interested in mac tutorials i happen to have a macbook so just comment down below and we'll make those as well let's get onto the desktop and update our windows and our drivers because that is very important kids first things first we're gonna update our windows the way we update our windows is simply by clicking on the start button going to settings clicking on update and security the first window that will pop up is windows update it's right here on the left bar so just make sure to click it in case it doesn't and click on check for updates and there we go we have one update to download it already downloaded that was pretty fast 
and now it's going to install and it did and it's simple as that for the bigger updates you might need to restart your pc so do not worry do not get scared if your pc hasn't been updated for a while especially you're going to have to restart your pc after that just make sure to restart your pc and the updates will apply after that what we want to do is update our gpu drivers the way you update your gpu drivers is for example if you have nvidia make sure to download nvidia geforce experience if you have amd make sure to download amd software adrenaline edition that's it so yeah make sure to download that sorry for the background noise my cats are playing with a freaking shopping bag yikes so once you've downloaded nvidia geforce experience i'll make sure to leave down the link in the comment section below for both of the graphics card it should look something like this it's going to be in your bar do not worry this is a very great software if you have geforce card i have a geforce card so i cannot show you the amd way right now but in the future i'll be able to do it so do not worry about that it is pretty simple it's pretty much straightforward it's the same as this kind of just a different interface make sure you open geforce experience don't get too off the topic and click on drivers and we already have a driver that's ready to download i did not really update my gpu drivers shame on me but in case you don't see anything here make sure to click on check for updates if there is an available update it's going to appear down here under available Make sure to click on download and it's going to start downloading so we're gonna wait for it to download and then you get a first hand experience on how to install this beauty once the download is finished what you want to do is click on custom installation say yes uh it's going to say preparing to install and we'll make sure to select all the options that we can perform a clean installation this bar is for people that usually do not update their drivers very often i'd suggest doing this every once in a while what it means basically is that restores all the settings settings on your card whether that be amd or uh, nvidia to like default so everything is going to be default even the options you set in uh, the control panel for both of the cards i do not need to do this right now but if you do not update drivers regularly i'd suggest you do it so if you want to do it just yeah click here and click on install while the gpu drivers are installing your screen is going to go black for a second or two maybe twice even do not worry that's normal and also softwares that use your gpu might crash as well but as i said that is completely normal so do not worry about that this is just like a disclaimer or something so as you guys can see here it is finished it is going to say installation has finished you're going to go ahead and close this and now what we are going to do check for updates again just to be sure and it says you have the latest geforce game ready drivers and that's pretty much it now that we've done that what we want to do is go to our nvidia control panel or amd control panel both are the same thing pretty much and we're going to click on adjust image settings with preview and make sure you use the advanced 3d image settings after that you're gonna click on take me there simpler like that or you can click on manage 3d settings it is your choice and make sure to copy these settings right here now, under the power management mode, what you want to do is click on optimal power here and put it to prefer maximum performance. After doing that, you want to scroll down to texture filtering quality. You want to click right there and put it on high performance as well. On threaded optimization, instead of auto, you want to turn it on. You want to click on apply and that's pretty much it don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be there's another very important tip that will help you speed up the game and windows itself it is pretty good what you want to do is click on file explorer right click on this pc or whatever you named your pc and click on properties after that you want to go to advanced system settings this little window will pop up you see the performance tab all the way up. You want to click on settings right there and you get performance options. I'd like you to copy these settings. These settings are the ones that will save a nice appearance to your windows and also make it a lot faster. However, if you want, you can just click on adjust for best performance that will disable all of these checkboxes, but your windows will look a tad bit uglier. If that doesn't matter to you, go ahead and do it. It will help you out a lot. I promise you, you'll see the changes instantly. And that should be pretty much it when it comes to optimizing your PC. All right, so here we are in the game, our final 
thing that we need to do is check out our game settings and that's it we're pretty much done i don't want to waste too much of your guys's time so let's just go ahead and go into the settings here on windowed mode make sure you put full screen because full screen is the most optimized out of all three usually people have it on windowed full screen which is the default one so make sure you don't have windowed full screen because honestly guys i won't lie to you you can check it out yourself it's pretty meh it's garbage okay now frame rate limit this depends on our monitor if you have 60 hertz monitor you want to put it on 120 it won't really matter if you have 144 you can put it on 160 etc it really doesn't matter if you have 144 hertz monitor you won't be able to see more than 144 fps so yeah next up we want to scroll down to graphics quality and here make sure anti-aliasing and super resolution is off nvidia dls is going to be on performance but if it's disabled it's by the default just going to be on the performance so we're going to make sure we disable that if we have an nvidia gpu 3d resolution if you follow the first step in this guide which is putting a custom resolution i'd suggest putting it 100 or 80 by minimum view distance if you want to go super competitive i'd put it on epic but it will decrease your fps so at least have it on far or medium shadows off textures low download the high quality textures make sure it's on off uh, high resolution texture reminders i don't know what this is but you can read more about it here i'm just too lazy so just make sure it's off it's just reminders effect slow post processing off advanced make sure v-sync is off monitor blur off show fps turn it on to check if this guide helped you out or not rendering mode DirectX 11 is one of the default ones but if you really want to crank it up put it on performance allow multi-threaded rendering on use gpu crash debugging this doesn't matter latency makers doesn't matter uh and nvidia reflex low latency off now you're gonna press a or click on apply and that's pretty much it and that was it uh hope this guy helped you out hope uh, your fps is better now i mean it's supposed to be for sure after this guide and your game will just in general run smoother please use creator code amber if you haven't and uh yeah thank you so much for watching peace out.